welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. First of all, I want to show you, look what my sister made for me for my B-Day. Bloop! I think I want to like make these and give them to people. They're so fun. Okay, this is the plant. I just did a live. Um, I don't even know if it posted or not because <clears throat> I mixed up a bunch of paints and I thought it'd be fun to go live. However, because uh, I'm going away in eight days to Jamaica and I want to film like a bunch of content. So I have like a few different ideas and um, the first idea I had was because I have so many paint mixed up from like months ago. Uh, oh, do I <laughs> On the live I schmooshed paints and gave myself a mustache so I just remembered. I hope so it's not a real mustache it's just blue paint okay one of the things i wanted to do was get rid of some paints that i have had mixed up the first paint that caught my eye for no reason is tlp blini which is this very like peachy orangey peachy color so i'm kind of like building my color from that and i happen to also have mixed up tlp horizon so, you know, I don't actually use orange often at all, but it's kind of pretty, right? So in the live I just did, I had also mixed up some TLP lemon sorbet, um, which I love. It's one of my favorites. It looks yellow, but when it's layered over other paints, it has this really good gold, gold tinge to it. And then um, because my idea was to add some like magenta to it. So we're going maybe kind of like sunset. Um, I'm gonna have TLP sequence, which is a red interference, which, oh, you can kind of see, here you go. There you go, really pretty. Um, and then in the live, I just mixed up some diorite yellow. So I do need more tube paints because right now I have four piggies. And now I'm thinking to myself, is it silly to use both of these colors? <clears throat> in the same pour, it could be, we'll see. So what tubies, so I think I'll sh I should use a white cell activator, okay? Um, <clears throat> so with a sunset vibe, maybe, cause I have a pink and a yellow, maybe I should do a purple. Oh, also, oh, do I wanna use this? That's like overkill. TLP Grenache, gorgeous color. That would be a very a gradient from like yellow, pink, uh, no, yellow, orange, red, pink. That would be really pretty actually. Right? Look at this, just for an example. Like chakra. Should I do a chakra pour? That's a whole other thing. Should I do it? I should do a chakra pour. That'll be the next one. Okay. See, I have all these ideas. So hold on. Uh, yeah, why don't I do a... Okay, let's do this one first. Then I was just thinking, of course, in my head, what other colors I would do for a shock rapport. What other piggies? So we have red. I'm a, I own a spiritual wellness center, so I know things about chakras. But anyways, so we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet-y, and then like, oh, bright violet. So, hmm. Okay, focus, Lisa Marvin. Let's go back to purples. So <clears throat> I'm just looking at what purple tubies I have mixed up here. This is actually not a tube. This is Violet Rain, the new TLP color, which also looks really pretty. Oh God, you guys. Okay, this is a tube paint. And of course, I'm not really gonna know what it is it's it's very a cool color though so for instance you can kind of see it's too bluish i think so i don't think i'm gonna use it i want a warm smoky perps as i say and i hope i have one mixed up because <clears throat> you know i make my own purples what is this is this warm or cool it is cool but it's not as jarring of a difference as the other one. So let's see if I have another one and then we'll decide what we're doing. Um, I do have, I do see a few purples here. Now, I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna have to mix it up. Let's see here, isn't this fun? Okay, it is a tube. I, 
I think it's a purple I made and I think I like it better. So look at the difference. <clears throat> Warm, cool. So, and I probably made this with like a red. Again, I'm sorry I don't have, if you just go back to my videos or you see purple, I probably made it. Okay, so we are very warm. The problem now I'm concerned, are we too warm? I don't know. Um, let me show you what we got here. Okay, so this is where we're at. I think we are a bit overkill, right? So I don't know if I need, Mm. this is warm yeah i think should i take i think i'm taking out the blini so this is yeah too light too similar okay we're taking out blini and we're keeping horizon okay so let's talk about layering i have four piggies three tubes we know i'm going to end on a tube so we know i have to start with a piggy let me just make some space here for the piglets, okay? Now, uh, I normally, I, I'm probably gonna go light to dark. <clears throat> so we will start with the uh, lemon sorbet. I just wanna make extra room here. Okay, we'll start with the lemon sorbet. I love magenta over yellow, although, so why don't I do the yellow first? Okay, we'll go lemon sorbet, diorite yellow. Over the yellow, I'll go horizon. Over horizon, I'll go magenta. This is going well. Over magenta, I'll do the sequins. Oh, see, no, I should start with the tube then, shouldn't I? Yeah, because then I have this left. I mean, I could do two piggies over a tube if I wanted to, but why not just switch it up and let's see what happens if I start with the yellow. Here, I'll go like this. Start with the yellow, then this, okay? Then this, then this. No, it's the same problem. Yeah, so we're gonna go two. I was right the first time, although I don't mind starting with this yellow. Um, so I will go like this, like this, like this, and then I will do two I'll do these two over this. No, nope, I'm wrong again. Don't hate me, guys. I've been doing this for two hours already. Okay, we're going original. This, 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 this. There we go. That makes more sense. Sorry. Okay, lemon sorbet, diorite yellow, horizon. Um, magenta these two and then my custom purple and i'll do white cell activator and that should be like a warm sunset so let's actually get to work and stop messing around here okay so i have an eight incher here now i'm a little concerned because my white pillow paint has been probably sitting in this cup i mean i covered it but sitting in this cup for like three weeks at least so i mean it's thick which is nice but i'm don't know how it's really gonna behave. The reason I'm using this white is because I'm using yellow. And if I put, see how thick it is? I mean, it's hopefully it'll be nice. Um, if I put a yellow over a dark, it will turn green. So, little tip if you're doing these like rainbow colors. Okay, what am I doing? I don't wanna just do like a bloom and cover it because you know, hmm. so I have a few ideas. Let's see if these colors work, first of all. But I guess I'm just doing, <clears throat> should I do like a negative space, a bloom vine? And then I do wanna do like, you know how I do my watercolor stretched out sunset something? Um, let me just see here how we're doing. Yeah, I don't want too much because as I always say the same thing, <clears throat> if you put too much paint, you have to spin it out. Um, and then you won't have as much negative space. Let's see, I, this is very minimal. So maybe this is part of our 
uh, experiment, <clears throat> a minimal paint and see what we got. All right, let's do a bloom vine. Why not? We're just like going for it. We don't care what's gonna happen. Right? My paints all look very thick. So what's gonna happen is I think I'm gonna have a lot of white pillow paint come up because it looks like I have a few problem areas, which I should probably fix, but we'll see, right? <clears throat> These colors are very pretty. At least we know that much. Okay. And finally this color. Okay. And I've just mixed up my white cell activator. I did make it a little thick. Uh, I hope it's not too thick. We'll see. Not too bad. Get a little skewer. I do like the colors, so that's something. Um, I'm going to spin first and then skewer it out a bit because we'll see what's happening. All right? Now I do want to help the paint out a bit. I'm doing this. Okay. Pretty, like, you know, pretty standard, right? I'm gonna give it a bit of a stronger spin. Just to see where we're at. Okay, yep. Okay, getting there. I don't even know if I <clears throat> I'm gonna skewer it yet. We'll see. Okay, so we've got over almost all the edges. There's I do like this area here. Let's see. I'm going to try to stretch this out a bit. A little bloop. <clears throat> Excuse me, moi. Let's see if we can get this going this way a bit. Um, yeah, it's cute. I should probably make like a sister to it. You know what I mean? There's a bit. Oh. There's one little boob boy right here. It's going to bother me. Okay. Now we can start like drawing. If you want, you know, I love to draw. I don't like it too much. I like just to get the shapes going a bit, you know, if you have to. Okay. You can always make some cool shapes, but do it like sparingly if you want to, I should say, or go crazy if you want to. <laughs> it's your art and there's no mistakes, you know? I think I did too many here already. Um, okay, there's still some more paint. You know me, as I'm saying, don't do too much. I always go overboard. It's a weird shape there. I don't like these lines I did there. 
something like this piece right here. Um, this piece, what do I want to do with it? Mm. All right, I think we'll spin again. <clears throat> and then, yeah, like she's cute, you know. Um, it's going to look pretty on the warm light. A lot of people ask me, why do your colors look so different here than the final? So right now here I have so many cool light. I have four lights on it so you can see like a good representation of the color in cool light. And when I show you the final result, it's just under my pot lights, which are a warm light, because these lights just eat up all the sparkle. So that's what happens. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me just, yeah. So, it's cute. I don't hate her. Uh, is it special? I don't know. Oh, yeah, like really pretty. Okay, let's go to the warm light and then we're gonna do the next thing, whatever that may be. But I don't hate her, so that's a good start. Okay, <clears throat> why don't I do a swipe of some sort? Uh, I don't know how we're gonna feel about it. Uh, I just wanna clean off this paint. Um, Cause normally I would swipe on a bigger one, but I don't know if I wanna waste, I'm like too nervous. Should I do it? Should I go bigger? Oh man. All right, fine. I'll do it. Um, one moment. Actually, I'll get my, oh, but I only have 14 inches. Oh man. Or is this a 12 inch? Okay. I think this is a 12 incher. It is. Okay. I feel better with it just because like, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll do like a lot of tilting. So in that case, we're going to add some color to make a sunset. So mix this up a bit. I hope this isn't a fail. If it is, I'll just do a big blue. Um, oh, I see lots of like blues. Okay, so because we're gonna extra stretch it, I'll start with this. Yeah, that's, that's enough paint. Um, I'm gonna leave my paint mound more in the middle and take out some bloops if I see them. And like, let's start layering. Okay, so for a sunset, the brightest will go in the middle, okay? And then we might have some like darker pink undertones up here. And I think, should I make the purple the bottom? Now, I do have like other colors I can add. Like I did mix up in that live video, I did mix up some brown. Um, if we wanna make it like a beach sunset. I have tailpiece s'mores, why don't I do that? And then I'll use this color. So I really tried to make my own brown and that really failed. Um, so I made this kind of, it's like a grayish brown. Again, it was in my live and I did like, I don't even wanna talk about it. It was like so annoying, but I want to put it underneath. Oh, this is a this is a gorgeous color. So this, in fact, is Triart Graf Graphite Gray. Why don't I just use that instead of? Do you want to see the brown I made at least? So you can see why I'm crying about it. Hmm. Is this it? You know what? This is it. It's not horrible. Let me show you the difference. I added like many colors to make this. Um, so it's not bad but it is quite dark. Maybe I will go with the gray, right? Okay, I'm just talking to myself at this point. Um, so, if I'm gonna start in the middle, we are going to go the brightest in the middle. Again, we don't know what we're doing. Okay. Um, and I'll do the lemon sorbet. 
And I'm really gonna stretch this out. So I don't know why, but we're gonna do it. Okay, then we're gonna go, hmm, should I just do the gray at the bottom? Can I start with the graphite gray? By the way, Fluid Art Company is getting their tri art delivery soon. I'm so excited. There's so many amazing colors that um, I love. So this is TLP S'mores, a beautiful, rich brown color. And I'm gonna keep it on the gray. I don't want it on the white. These dark colors seem to flocculate over the white a bit. So I'm gonna try to keep it over the two paint. Okay, now, how are we looking? Nothing like we want it to look yet. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna have here the horizon, which is a perfect color for this, isn't it? Okay. Maybe the horizon will be like the main thing, okay? Then I will have the, you know, Grenache Sangria. Was that a bloop? I think it's Grenache. Oh, that wasn't a bloop. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Then we'll have maybe like up here we'll have this okay i still have the dark purple too hmm because hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, i don't want the dark purple okay we're gonna put the dark purple up here uh let me do <clears throat> the sequence first okay then we'll do the dark purple up here So the thing is, I have to think about how I'm swiping. The only swiping tool I have right now is this one. So, and I don't necessarily, uh, mm, should I get a smaller one? Do I have a smaller one? Uh, I could use, although this is dirty. This might be better. This is a number two. I have to clean it. But I wanna make sure this corner, if I'm swiping this way, I have to, I have, to have paint. To bring up so maybe i'll swipe this way which is like backwards for me so maybe i'll swipe oh that's so counterintuitive so you have to think about those things because i'm i'm used to swiping this way so swiping this way might be a little more hard for me but i'll do it for you guys <laughs> okay what's happening here i don't know if we like what's happening here uh but that's okay we can we can see right I'm gonna just stretch it out a bit, why not, right? The colors we know are gonna be nice. Okay, so let me see if I have another one of these swipers or if I should clean this. Cause you know how organized I am. Now I only have a big one. only have this is a number one by the way which i also like okay well i might just have to it'll just be crusty you know we don't want crusty do we they're all pretty crusty because it's a different look if i just do one swipe or if i do you know what i mean all right we're just gonna load her up and hope for the best as we do Okay, are you ready? So I have my white cell activator and I'm just gonna pour it on. Here we go. Just get that wet paint off. Okay, here we go. Cover it up. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a minute. I'm just taking off the excess. Excess. Look like that, are you ready? Okay, so notice I left this and maybe I'll do a singular swipe on that or maybe I won't do a swipe at all. 
and just leave it the way it is. And then when it stretches out, it'll just look stretched out. So let us wipe this down. I do. See, if you leave this, you're going to get huge cells, which I don't love personally. Mm. Let's see if that did anything. Okay. I have a feeling so far this might be ugly. Um, didn't, oops, didn't really go as planned, but we're not going to panic yet. You know what I mean? Because there's areas that are pretty, like this area is pretty. Uh, so we're, that's what we're going to do. We are going to start stretching the bejesus out of it. And if it doesn't work, then we tried and then we'll just do a normal blue. Okay. So obviously this top part, she's going, I'm going to go slow. This is where you got to be patient because I don't want to mess with the middle cells so much. And we're just going to go like this and keep it slow and steady. So this is where you talk about other things, <laughs> keep yourself busy. It will go faster soon. Just the initial where there's no paint going. Okay, we'll start like this. Okay, we'll go like this. Okay, see so we're getting there. Okay, good. We'll go like this. A little bit. Good, okay, so now the paint is at the edges. Now I'm gonna bring it back to the middle and we'll start going down. Or do I wanna take those corners off? I might want to take the corners off. So let me, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to bring it down slightly. Okay. I'm going to start going this way. Get that corner off there. Okay. Start going this way. No, I think. Wait, I think I see a blue, but yeah, you don't want to bloop while you stretch because that will mess everything up for you. Okay, here we go. Again, I don't have high hopes for this yet. That's okay. You know what I always say, it's only wasted paint. But I do want to make sure that now we're just going to go all the way down. Um, I give these colors that, oh, you can't see, the justice they deserve. So we're just dropping this all the way down. Dropping, dropping. Okay, you want to go that way? Sure. You want to go that way first? Go ahead, right? Okay, we'll bring it back to the middle. Oh, wait, there's one more. A little white piece. Okay, and then we'll start going down this way. Then we'll look at what we have and decide what's happening. I want to get all those little air bubbles out. Okay, so now I'm going to stretch it back the other way. Once this little white air bubble goes, there we go. Okay. So now I don't mind this. And this was a, actually a different pour I was going to do with these yellows and um, browns. I was going to do like a daffodil pour, which I still might do, but I'm just going to get this yucky stuff, the pink yucky stuff off and then see where we're at. Probably, we're probably not at a good place, <laughs> but we're just going to see what happens. I'm not having high hopes at all. No, definitely not. See, it's looking yucky. All right, well, I'm going to tip all this paint off and then I'll probably bloom on top. I just want to make sure, but I'm pretty sure 
that. It's a no-go. You know? Like, you know how I feel about super wonky cells? They make me upset. So I'm just getting all that pink off. Okay, let's see. I mean, the colors are, again, really nice, but this, hold on, let me get this off. This um, is not the look we are going for at all. Although I do love this stretched out situation, but again, that's a negative. So, yeah. Like, I mean, I could, you could embellish it, do something cool with it, but no, not for me. So, let us, my, you know what, I'm gonna get new gloves, because these are yucky. Let us then decide. I just love sequins over magenta all day long. Gorgeous. Um, this beautiful, um, <sighs> the yellow over the yellow. What is my favorite yellow called? Hello. Ah, lemon sorbet over the dye eyed yellow. Gorgeous. And I don't even mind this. It's just like, obviously, it's not working for us. Let me get new gloves. And let's see what we are doing. I guess, should I just do a big bloom? I guess I could, right? Um, yeah, let's do that. At this point. Yeah, cool colors, but not, not the look we're going for. Get some boobies out. Let's just go for a nice bloom. Oh, I saw something fall in there. I hate, that's what I hate about these paints. It's the bloopies, if I can find it. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that'll be good enough. I, well, I don't want to have to stretch it out too much. Okay. That should be good enough. Why don't we do the same layering um, and see what happens. So we have lemon sorbet. We have diorite yellow. We have horizon. So, pr ugh, I wish it worked because, like, that. Uh, I should try one more thing after of sunset. Um, yeah. Magenta. I could do my regular watercolor bloom style with. Out really blooming on it. Uh, okay. And then we have the sequins. Okay. Then we'll have my purple. Okay. Now, I do have to move these paints for when I spin this big guy. I wasn't prepared to spin a big guy. One moment, please. I want to get paint in my paint. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Move these over here. All right, let's put her in the middle. And let us put on our cell activator. <clears throat> and here we go. Bloop. That's too much cell activator. I did deep blow in there. Sometimes I like to blow out these extra petals. <clears throat> Not too shabby. Let me do a fun close up for you. I want to show you this, oop, this way. 
really cute. Okay, let's spin it out. I have to take off my gloves. So I try to put them back on while I spin. At least one glovey. Okay. Yeah. Mm, oh, I span that way, so I have to go this way again. So I like to spin in one direction just for centrifuge so it doesn't get like extra wonky. I don't know if that's a thing or if I'm right about it, but that's just kind of how I do it. Okay, you know what? I like her much better than uh, <laughs> the sunset. You know, just like a regular old pretty lady, I think. Um, really gorgeous sparkle. Let me, I see a, oh, it's a bubble popped already, good. All right, so let me do a close up of this. Um, am I gonna do a sunset one for you? I guess I can try really quick. I love, I really like this one, I'm happy with her. I think she needs one more spin. Um, okay, so I'll, let me do a close-up of this. Then I'm going to do like a stretched out, or try anyways, to do like a watercolor uh, style bloom. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're good. Okay, be right back. Okay, everyone update. I've made a second video, a continuation, because we went in a totally different direction. Um, I did a sunset thing with transfer things, and then I was kind of working on it more, and then it got really long. Then I ended up with a beautiful landscape bloom situation. So I'm sorry to make you not see it, but it's gonna be my next video because I think it was like a whole other app, 40 minutes, I, I don't know, it was a while. So thank you for joining me on this one. Tell me what do you think of my sunset colors and um, like this video, subscribe. Love you guys, bye. Stay tuned for next one.